Hi, welcome to Big Screen Nation. It's me again, Solly. Thank you for coming back to my channel and watching the reviews. Um, one of my eyes are a little bit swollen today. I've got a bit of um of hay fever going on, but today is a really good day because it's my son's birthday. Cameron, happy birthday to you. I love you. First, before I start off, I'd like to say congratulations and happy birthday to my son, Cameron, who is 14 years old today. Happy birthday, son. I love you. Now, Dangerous as Lies is a film that has just come out on Netflix. And, you know, it's number two in the, in the Netflix charts this morning as I speak. It's number two in the charts this morning. And this film, by the title of it, you'd think that it's quite like a Channel 5. If you know, if you're in the UK, you would understand Channel 5 type movie that would come on in 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Or, for example, if you know the Channel um, Lifetime, it's that sort of type of movie by the title. You'd think it's like that. And the film does kind of have that vibe to it quite a way through the film but anyway let's 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 talk about you know some of the actors in this film because they are may i wouldn't call them a-list actors but they're actors that you recognize for example you've got um jesse usher yeah if you watch the boys yeah that's a series on amazon the boys this character plays um the character a train who's basically you know super fast right anyway so you've got him in it so we've got um camilla mendes right and she, um, she's from Riverdale, yeah. Um, she's one of the major characters in Riverdale. What's her name? Yeah, that's her name. Ver Veronica Lodge. Yeah, she plays Verona. She plays Veronica Lodge in Riverdale. So these two are the husband and wife, yeah, in this program. Now they're struggling. They're kind of going through, um, going through hard times. You know, one studying, one other one's working. And you know they get involved in there's a robbery incident that's in there, and from that their life kind of changes because you know they they manage to well you know the wife kind of like tries to tell her husband not to get involved in a robbery uh, um to stop a robbery that's happening in a diner that the wife works at. The husband gets involved, managed to be the hero of that situation, but you know someone died in that situation. And you know, um, since then their life's never been the cha been the same. He ended up dropping out of school. While she was working, she had to find a new job because the sign was closed. They're not working for um, a undercover rich guy, basically. Got a really nice house and everything like that. Um, from one day, they start working for him. Um, after four months of working for him, the guy drops dead. Then that's when the, all their problems start. Yeah, all their problems start. And it's one of those films where um, I'd say from the beginning of the film, it seemed very promising. Right? From the beginning of the film, right through to the middle, there's a lot going on. You know, things are coming together. Things are kind of coming together in bits and pieces. Of what's happening? You know, things get discovered in the house. Um, you know, a murder investigation and... Um, Death inquiries are going on at the same time because this guy's um, um, this rich guy that they're working for happens to, you know, drop dead. So it's usually this is it's the usual procedural stuff that you know the authorities and things do, you know. But then a lot of incidents happen involving there where you see that you know there's quite a few lies that are told and quite a few dodginess going on um, involving money, crimes, and all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm going to make this review really short. Yeah. I feel like the actors were great. They were brilliant. They were believable. But it's one of those films where you're getting bits and pieces of what's actually going on. It's also almost like they try to make um, the thriller a psychological type thriller thing. But I didn't think it worked too well because... Like you get to the end and you're thinking, 
what happened? How did that happen? You, you keep asking lots of questions. Although everything was revealed, how they revealed it, I couldn't follow and keep up and remember everything. And I was paying attention. Yeah. Um, I was paying attention and I couldn't really follow the deepness of, you know, the full story. So with that said, I can't really rate the film too high in terms of story-wise. I mean, the acting was nice. They were believable, you know, like, you know, the conversations between, you know, husband and wife and, you know, the issues that they have involving money and listening to each other and all that sort of stuff went quite, quite well for me. But I think overall, this film, if they had put everything that ended together more better, I'd have enjoyed it. I mean, you know, there's another actor in there, which I which which I enjoyed quite well. I mean, she played the attorney. I think I have to... What was her name again? This is the thing. That's it. Jamie, yeah, the same Jamie Chung one, right? And she's like from, you know, if you've seen Dragon Ball movie. Yeah, she, she kind of features in there. And she was like um, a reality star. I can't remember what reality program she was from, but she was a reality star. She started in reality TV. But anyway, uh, she played a quite good role as a, the, the attorney, you know, that comes to kind of like give, you know, um, give the will to the husband or well, to the wife, right? Give the will to the wife because she was working for the guy directly. I mean, if you see the film, yeah, and watch it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's one I would recommend to watch. You know, so you can maybe comment and let me know your feedback on how you think the film was. But for me personally, it's a film that I followed from beginning to end. But I felt like it wasn't done as well enough for me to remember everything, you know. And I like a film that gives me capture to where I can actually remember the full story to explain from beginning to end. Maybe it's just my memory, maybe I'm just getting older, I don't know. But... That is what I see from it. Now, I would actually give this film two stars. Because I'm a story person and I like a story. And it's a thriller. So it's you get everything you, you're supposed to get from a thriller. It's just that the story is a bit mishmashy, kind of done a bit done a bit more weller, I thought, you know. Um that's basically it. I'm just going to keep it like that. Yeah. Let me know what you think. You know, please subscribe, like, you know, comment. You know, I always, I always accept feedback, you know, from what your views are on what, how I talk about the film, what your views are on the film. Comment. I read them. I read them. Um, yeah, please. Yeah. Subscribe, like, and share. And thanks for watching.